Hello and welcome to another CryptoNation video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be building the Freenet message system, aka FMS, from source on Zubuntu. This will allow you to review the source code and make any desired changes before building FMS. Please note, to obtain the FMS source, you will need to be connected to Freenet. If you are connected to Freenet, simply open the web interface, click the Freenet message system link, click download, and download the latest source file. If you do not have Freenet set up, go to www.cryptonation.com and watch the tutorial on installing Freenet for your operating system. If you like these video tutorials, please consider following us on Twitter at CryptoNation or subscribing to us on youtube.com slash cryptnode for future updates. Let's begin by installing the required components to build FMS. Open a terminal and type in sudo apt-get install lib poco dash dev cmake build dash essential then press enter and type in your password when prompted please note you can skip installing check install once the required components are installed change directories to where you extracted the fms source open the fms source folder in your file manager then open the readme file Please note, since this video only uses the default options when building, you may wish to take a few minutes to read this file for additional options. Copy the line cmake-d, I have read the readme, and paste it into the terminal window, then press enter. After the cmake task completes, simply type in make, press enter, and wait while FMS builds. After the make task completes, you will have an FMS executable inside of your FMS source folder. Double click the FMS file, wait for the database to be created, then open the FMS web interface at 127.0.0.1.8080. Now that we have verified our build is running, let's shut down FMS, make a simple change, and rebuild it. Please note, any time a change is made to the FMS source, excluding the CSS files in the styles folder, it must be rebuilt before you'll see the change take effect. In this example, let's add some text to the FMS template page title. In the FMS source folder, open forum-template.htm. In the title, add test, then save and close the file. In the terminal window, type make-b, press enter, and wait while FMS builds. After the task completes, the FMS executable will be updated. Double-click the FMS file and refresh the FMS web interface. Click Browse Forums, and our test string will be included in the page title. If you want to make more advanced changes, you will need to edit the C++ files, for example in the Source, HTTP, Pages folder, and then rebuilding FMS as before. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, I hope you found it useful.